Alexander Balinson and David Kajdan have had an influence on modern mathematics that is difficult to summarize in a few words, partly because they work in areas that require advanced mathematical terminology, but more importantly, because their influence has been extraordinarily broad, which means that I cannot mention more than a small fraction of it. A common thread to at least part of their work is the branch of mathematics known as representation theory, which is itself connected with group theory and symmetry. When most people think of symmetry, they think about symmetries of geometrical objects, such as rotations and reflections of triangles. However, the notion of symmetry is vastly more general than this. In the 19th century, when Galois was studying roots of polynomial equations, symmetry was fundamental to his investigations, and it became clear that symmetries had certain abstract properties that could be studied independently of any particular manifestation. This led to the formulation of the notion of a group. Groups are now one of the three or four basic algebraic structures that are taught in every university mathematics course in the world. Later, the process of abstraction was reversed. It turns out that one of the best ways of understanding an abstract group is to realize it as the group of symmetries of some object. If the symmetries are given by linear maps, then the resulting realization is called a representation of the group. Certain properties of the representations of a given group encode essential information about the group, so understanding what the representations are is an extremely important and in many cases very difficult problem. David Kajdan introduced a notion to representation theory called property T, which he used to solve two open problems concerning discrete subgroups of Lie groups. Property T has turned out to be a truly fundamental concept that has had applications to many areas of mathematics and not just group theory and representation theory. He also formulated, with George Lustig, who won the Shaw Prize in 2014, two extremely influential conjectures that were solved by Alexander Balinson and Joseph Bernstein. These breakthroughs led to the development of an area known as geometric representation theory, which adds a further twist to the story by showing that many of the structures that arise in representation theory can be understood in a different, more geometric way. The result is to convert several extremely difficult problems in representation theory into equivalent problems that are more tractable. This has led to the discovery of simpler and more conceptual proofs of existing results, and to the solutions of many problems that had hitherto seemed out of reach. The ideas of Alexander Balinson and David Kajdan have had a huge effect on representation theory, and since representation theory is a fundamental tool in many other parts of mathematics and physics, from dynamical systems and operator algebras to the theory of networks, these ideas permeate a large fraction of mathematics today. They have not only proved wonderful theorems themselves, but they have developed tools that have allowed other mathematicians to do so as well. I and the rest of the selection committee for the mathematical sciences congratulate them for their remarkable mathematics and for the award of the 2020 Shaw Prize. <laughs>